the patients who were treated with Eltrombopag after the induction chemotherapy, uh, they had a pretty robust platelet count recovery. Uh, the median time of uh, for how long they were on Eltrombopag was about 10 days and they all achieved normal platelet counts within four weeks. Uh, secondly, with Eltrombopag, there has been this concern that Eltrombopag can actually cause the platelet counts to go up very high very quickly and that can cause issue with blood clots. But we, in none of the 13 patients we analyzed at this interim standpoint, in interim point, none had any issues with blood clots. Moreover, this drug is safe. We did not see any grade three or four toxicities that could have been grounds for discontinuation of the drug. In fact, for the entire uh, 13 patients, we never had to stop the drug for any side effects or delay the drug or cause any dose interruptions or even dose escalation for lack of response. So overall it seems like it is an effective strategy and it seems to be safe. If this indeed turns out to be the case after we are done analyzing all 31 patients then it clearly becomes one of the options that can be introduced in our current treatment uh, practice for AML and will probably change and make it a whole lot different scenario for older AML patients who right now we do not have any good strategy to help them recover their counts.